Have you ever seen a hot girl at the bar or club and you want to talk to her, but you just don't know what to say? Today, we're going to fix that. What up, homies? Dave here, and I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday to help you get the girls you want and become the man you were meant to be. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the seven best conversation starters to use at bars and clubs. My friends and I have used these conversation starters on thousands, if not millions of girls all around the world. All right, maybe not millions, but the point is I know they're gonna work for you. Remember one thing though, the way you deliver these lines is even more important than the lines themselves. So you wanna make sure you make strong eye contact, talk slow, and give a nice sly little smile while you deliver it. And make sure you stay all the way to the end of the video because I'm gonna be giving you my favorite conversation starter of all time. That being said, let's get into number one. This one is best to use when there's something obvious you can ask her about, like a cool looking drink. Maybe she got one of those crazy straws and you're just like, what the hell is that? So you can just go up to her and say, hey, your drink looks awesome, what is it? This one is great if you're the type of guy who has a lot of approach anxiety, because it allows you to gauge her interest level and her overall vibe without risking much. You're just an innocent guy asking an innocent question, and if she cool, you can keep it going. So this one is best to use on girls who've got some open body language and some high energy, so they're not super stiff or closed off. They look like they're kind of open to talking to people. So the way you want to do it is to get in both of the girl's line of sight and say, hey, then when they look at you, touch both of their back shoulders and say, y'all look like fun, how's your night going? You want to make sure that you make eye contact with both of the girls or glance throughout the group if it's more than two. That way you engage everybody instead of just trying to single out one or two girls. Doing it this way is going to make you seem like a fun guy who's going to add value to their night instead of some jamoke who's like, hey ladies. And bro, ain't no jamokes on this channel. So I got my lovely girlfriend Yuki over here to help out with the video. What's up guys? And we're color coordinating yellow, as always. Anyway, this one is called the Hand of God, and I gotta give credit to RSD. They came up with it years ago. I've used it a bunch of times. Shit works like a charm. Now the great part about it is if it does work, it makes things sexual right away. It's a very high risk, high reward. So maybe she's talking to one of her girlfriends. Maybe she's talking to some jamoke. It doesn't matter. You walk up there, you look her in the eyes, and put your hand out. If you do it with confidence and everything goes right, she's going to take your hand, then you can pull her in and say, hey, what's up? And boom, things are going to be sexual right away and your job's going to be a lot easier. Now, she's not always going to take your hand. Sometimes she's going to shrug you off. That's okay. That's part of the game. Rejection is part of the game. Just move on to the next girl. All right, so what do you think to you? Would you, would you take my hand? Maybe. All right, guys, so I'm out here in the forest of Mexico City with my little buddy Murph, taking care of him for my buddy Freddy for the week. Anyway, unique compliments. So these are great anytime a girl is wearing something unique and different, maybe a cool dress or a cool shirt, and you can go up and say something unique about her style. So you could say, hey, I really like your sense of style. You're the first girl I noticed in the entire room. This is going to help you stand out from other guys who are just like, oh my god, you're so beautiful. And it should be a start of a good conversation. And by the way, man, if you're liking this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell because I'm putting out new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. Alright guys, so it was my first night out in Boston. Actually my first night really trying to go out and pick up girls. And I saw this group of girls at the bar that were all drinking wine on a Saturday night. So I go up and say, hey, what are y'all ladies doing drinking wine on a Saturday night? What are y'all sad about? They started cracking up laughing. They loved it. It made me realize that teasing girls is a great way to start the conversation. It shows confidence. And again, it sets you apart from other guys who are just going up and saying the same old shit. So how do you do it? Basically, you can make an observation about something she's doing, like maybe drinking something funny, or something that you overheard her say. It should set up a flirty vibe for the conversation, which is gonna be good for you.
All right, so this is another bold move and you gotta keep things sexual afterwards or it's not gonna be congruent. Basically, you wanna say something like, hey, you're the sexiest girl in here and I had to see if you're cool enough to back it up. That way it's like, hey, I think you're attractive, but I gotta see if there's some type of substance behind it to keep me interested. Now, of course, anytime you state your interest to a girl, that's gonna have a higher risk of rejection because she might just not like you. But there's also a higher reward and you might just intrigue her enough to really hook her attention. Now, I told you guys I was saving my favorite one for last and I wasn't lying. This is my favorite one, I use it the most and it's also the most simple. All it is is you say, hey, how's it going? That's it, it works in any scenario. You don't need her to be wearing anything crazy or drinking anything crazy or whatever. All you have to do is go up with some confidence, deliver the line, make strong eye contact and you're gonna have a good chance. Plus it shows confidence because you're not trying to get too cute with it. You're just kind of like, hey, this is me, what's up? All right, so you're probably wondering, how do I keep the conversation going after I get it started? I got you, homie. Check out this video right here. It's gonna show you five easy ways to keep the conversation going. I'll see you there.